but you got to be open-minded. You know, that's the uh, biggest thing with these cars. I had to come to Michigan think, uh, with no thoughts in mind about, man, this car is going to be loose, it's going to be tight. Uh, I couldn't have any preconceived notions about it and just come in here willing to learn, willing to react to whatever the car did and not think about it, you know. And, and that's what a lot of these, the best race car drivers in the garage can do. They can react without thinking about it. So just got to be uh, clear-headed and, and be willing to learn about them. We build everything at the shop from the ground up, chassis, bodies, uh, we put the engines in there. I mean, everything we do is, is done at our race shop. Uh, second, people don't get to see the changes that we make at the track. You know, they think once we get to the track, that's all the car is. You know, it's a body and a chassis and some tires and, and that's it. But we, we had six hours of practice yesterday making changes on things that might equal to a sixteenth of an inch. But that's the difference that could put you from first to fifth or sixth place. I mean, just that little bit. So you got to go over these, these cars with a fine tooth comb and just be, at, you know, be very adamant and be very precise. Bristol would definitely have to be my favorite just because it was a, uh, I mean, it's, it's right in my back door in Knoxville, Tennessee. It's right there in Bristol. Uh, so that's definitely nice having the hometown crowd there. And it looks like a bullfight in arena when you walk in. It's got all the grandstands wrapped around it. And it sounds like a bee's nest as soon as the cars get on the track. So it's just an adrenaline that you get being there. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I'd say my second favorite track's got to be Atlanta. Uh, we had a really strong car there last year, so that always makes it better when you're fast at the track. But, uh, you know, it, it's like, it's a mile and a half, but it drives like a short track. The way you can move around, the way the pavement is, everything about it. And then uh, one other track that that's really uh, stands out in my mind that's not a track that we race at anymore, but Concord Motorsports Park. Growing up, that place was unbelievable. It's a triable, almost like a road course, but it's an oval because you got to do so many different things in the car, but a lot of fun to go to those kind of tracks. I try to go back home as much as I can too. I uh, go to Knoxville a lot, try to stay humble, stay grounded, you know, be with the family, be with the friends, go to church, all those kind of things. Uh, I love Knoxville and I'd live there if I could. Just, um, you know, I got to be in Charlotte a lot or in Mooresville to be with the race team. But during my off season, man, I go out. Uh, last year we went to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, did some snowboarding, and, and I just like to get away from it all, go, go have some fun.